Hi everybody, and welcome back to Rayman Revolution. In the last episode, we went through the Tomb of the Ancients to rescue our friend Clark, who has now created this massive gaping hole in the wall that will allow us access to the next level. And uh, the final mask is down that away. However, you might be wondering why I'm running away from the, uh, the level at hand, and that is because at the start of today's episode, I'm going to do uh, Lee's seventh challenge. Uh, there's one more challenge after this one. And uh, I'll hopefully be doing that in the next episode as well, so I kind of want to space things out a bit. Let's go and do a challenge right now, just cause, and then we'll get to uh, the Iron Mountains, the level at hand. Yes, I know I haven't freed enough minutes but to unlock a new world, but I've still got current worlds, Lee. Current ones that I can complete, I think. This trampoline challenge? Yes, it's the trampoline challenge, which, if I recall correctly, is pretty simple. Yet again, there's quite a few, like, really short challenges. This one's more along the line of the 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 ring swinging challenge, whatever it was called, and the, uh, the jump challenge, which was like... The second challenge was the jump challenge? I don't think I've said the word challenge so many times in the same sentence before. But anyway, let's do the trampoline challenge. Once again, just got to collect a bunch of uh, red lums. We're locked to a 2D plane, so uh, that makes things a little bit more simple. And we just got to... Uh, well, just got to follow the path of red lums. Uh, they're, they're in a pretty good formation. Uh, you do go quite a ways up. Uh, you can use the helicopter to like stunt your stunt your jump height like that. You can stop yourself mid midway up in order to uh, follow the path of red lums. And uh, yeah, it's quite a lenient time limit, time limit I think. Uh, let's uh, pick these up, hover down gently, and now we've just got to get these remaining three. Uh, don't miss that one, please. And there we go. We're done. And we plummet. Don't know what happened if you'd land on top of the, one of the uh, spider webs, just like continuously bounce up and down and soft lock the game. I don't know. Kind of tempted to try it, but I get the feeling they they thought that through. One second, let me just. I want to see if it happens or not. Knowing this game, it's not the most polished game. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't like soft lock the game or anything. God, for some reason, some of these uh, spider webs bounce you, bounce you considerably higher than the others. Pick up that one final red lamb, and let's see what happens. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you don't like land on the trampoline, but you just continuously bounce, but Lee still gives you the the health, I suppose. That's just good to know, I guess. Anyway, let's get out of this challenge and head on over to the level of the episode, which I've been delaying for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, the Iron Mountains. We are approaching the end of the game. This is like the last. Not the last level tech. Well, uh, it's, the next level's kind of weird after this one. Um, it's like based around a few gimmicks, like uh, sliding and shell riding. But this is the last proper like ex exploration level where we have free control. But yeah, we won't be doing an awful lot of platforming in the next level. But uh, anyway, let's head on over to the Iron Mountains, and you'll see for yourself. I'm spoiling. I'm spoiling the level for you. Whoops. Let's head on through this Clark-shaped hole in the wall. That's uh, very cartoonish, very Looney Tunes-esque. Sort of makes an imprint of, of himself as he passes through the wall. And uh, Clark isn't actually in this level, even though he, he runs on ahead. I'm fairly certain we don't we don't see him at all in this level. So he just disappeared again. Uh, no, I don't want to save. Oh, it's very gloomy in here. Uh, lovely rainy, rainy level. Okay, uh, there is a part up ahead, but uh, there are a bunch of yellow lums hanging all over the place. Got a few uh, purple lums. Do I see the inside of Rayman's eyeballs there? I can see little dots. It was like a brief frame. I can't seem to do it now. What happened there? That was... Ah, oh, maybe, maybe I need to adjust my eyes to it. I don't know. Uh, let's get on over there and let's not lose our golden fist so early. Uh, why can't I grab that one? Okay, there was a weird swinging... Uh, swinging arc there. I don't know why I wasn't hitting it. Okay, how do I get these? I need to like do like a gentle hover down to the bridge, I suppose. Seems quite tre treacherous. I don't really want to waste any golden fists right off the bat. Uh, I guess I'll grab these two from this ring. And I notice there is a part. Is that a yellow part? No, it's a red one. So two golden fist shots should be enough. If I just keep spamming, I'll just destroy these missiles before they even come out. Yeah, easy enough with the golden fist. Make this bit of cakewalk. 
get along on the way down. Can I get back out from here? No, okay, that's a one way a one way shoot. So I don't know uh, what will happen if you miss the yellow lump. Also, I can't adjust the camera. Wasn't the camera facing the other way a minute ago? And now I can't adjust it again. Okay, I need to back up a sec, maybe? Okay, hover, adjust the camera behind me, let go, and then let's move on. Okay, okay, so the camera is meant to be facing this way. What did I do to the camera though? That was super weird. Uh, let's uh, get on out of this, this pipe though. Uh, this is like an... Yeah, this is the uh, disco room. I remember this one. This one's a... Uh, I remember this vividly. Also, Rayman, what are you doing? Stop bouncing off the floor. Okay, uh, there's nothing much to this room aside from looking quite snazzy. I mean, there's sewage all around, but uh, it's just a rotating platform. You need to hit the two switches on both sides. Uh, for some reason, I can't seem to hit the one uh, in the foreground. Oh, I did. I did. Okay. And uh, we need to, like, jump around the room, avoid that laser in the middle. Pick up all the yellow lumps around the perimeter. Uh, run against the run against the flow of the flow of the wheel. I guess it's a very square. It's very it's not even a square. It's like a hexagon. It's a weird shaped wheel. Okay, let's drop down and we're no more no more disco. Ah, oh, shame. No more raving for Ray, Rayman raving. I, d I don't want to mention the rabbits really. I don't really have too much history with rabbits. I don't mind them. I figured I'd put it out there in this episode. Because uh, uh, recently Mario and Rabbids uh, Kingdom Battle came out. And I don't really have an opinion on it. I mean, I haven't played it yet. I'm, I'm on the fence about uh, Kingdom Battle, honestly. Also, there's a Golden Fist up there. Huh. But I, I already have a Golden Fist. Uh, what happens if I pick up another one? Well, I guess that would just refill my Golden Fists if I'd lost any. Possibly. I don't know. I kind of want to test it out, but never mind. I've already picked it up. I cannot, sir. I cannot go back on that. But yeah, I, I, I don't mind the rabbits. I've owned, like, I think one of the rabbits games I owned was, uh, was it Rabbids Go Home? It was just a one-off, not even a platformer, was it a platformer? It was like a, you're like, you're going, going around on like a trolley. I guess it was a platformer, but not your conventional platformer. Uh, I don't remember, like, hating that game at all, but I, I wouldn't say I, I remember too much about it. Uh, there's this massive open, like, plane area over here. If you head to the left, uh, there's quite a few yellow lums that you'll miss otherwise. I think there's, like, a few in each corner. Yeah, there's, looks like, six in total. And yeah, that's all that's over here. It's just one random, like, grassy ravine. There's nothing else over this end. Oh, uh, we, will, we will eventually get up on that ledge, but... Yeah, also, I just saw the inside of Rayman's eyes again. Like, something I've only just picked up on for some reason. I wonder if that's only in this level. I don't know. But anyway, I'm, get, I'm getting off track. I was talking about the rabbits and yeah, whatever. Um, I, I, you know, I'm not too keen on the like tactical games, so I, d I don't really have too much interest in Mario Plus Rabbids. But you know, it's, it's it, people haven't been saying too many like bad things about it. Like, in fact, they've been praising it quite considerably. And I do like Mario, obviously, but you know, it's just, I, I'm, I'm really on the fence about it. But anyway, I'm just. It was just being topical, a little bit off topic for the game, for Rayman Revolution, but it's topical date wise because it came out a few weeks ago. Well, actually, it was last week, I think. I've dated this video like really hard now. <laughs> I can't, I can't go back. I wonder when I recorded this episode. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, up here is uh, the upper ledge from the grassy ravine down there. I think I've picked up all the yellow lums so far. Oh yes, I have the lums radar. I forgot about that. We picked that up in the last episode as well. It just wasn't showing on screen because I have to hit the R2 button to show it. Uh, anyway, let's glide on down this, uh, this uh, rapid, rapid ride. It's got a little, I'm getting the mini ninjas vibe again from this. Okay, uh, that's one familiar spirit hanging there. Uh, since there are no more lums in this area, I'm just going to turn off the, turn off the radar. Probably should have used it in the previous area just to show its use uh, for finding any like hidden lums that are just a little bit out of your way. But uh, never mind, uh, we'll get to the next area in a second. If I recall correctly, this is a little bit of a, a weird thing. We've got the balloon from uh, from the Rainbow Creek to the precipice that was down, that was uh, that was in the Rainbow Creek. And uh, this time it will lead us to the next section of this level. But uh, there's something a bit weird about this one, and uh, you'll see in just a second. So nice uh, celebration for some reason. And then we transition. How, how, how strange. Anyway, let's uh, sit through this loading screen. La da 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 da. Loading screen, loading screen. Pretty short loading screen, to be honest. I wonder why. And uh, no, I don't want to save.
and it was all for that little one random cutscene right there. So you might be thinking to yourself, and I definitely thought this as well, like that's like Sonic 06 level of loading screen right there. Like you accept a mission, it goes, it goes to a loading screen, you get one line of dialogue and then it goes to another loading screen. And uh, then you go into the mission itself. But uh, no, I, I was mistaken. There's something hidden there that I didn't realise. I thought it was quite a pointless lo pair of loading screens at first. But there's something very strange, it's like a little Easter egg in that section. Uh, when you're flying in the balloon, if you mash the shot button, the uh, the square or the circle button, I think it's 15 times, it'll say something like Rayman's on a killing spree or something like that, that's weird. And then it'll throw you into this weird game, this weird parody of Pong, called uh, Splong, with a, with a C. And uh, yeah, I don't really understand why this is here, is this like an in-joke from the developers? But uh, yeah, thanks to the, uh, I think it's the uh, Ray Wiki or the Rayman Park community. Uh, they've got like their own like Rayman based wiki, and uh, yeah, I wouldn't have found out about this unless I I read through uh, read through the uh, Iron Mountains page on that. But uh, yeah, it's just a weird game of pong, and you're playing with the elixir of life from the Cave of Bad Dreams for some reason. And uh, I don't know if it's two player or not. Uh, I was playing the, against the computer here, but uh, yeah, the computer is devastatingly hard at this, and it won't let you win. I swear, like you can't move the paddle fast enough to to catch some of the shots so the computer always wins. Also you can't leave midway through which makes things incredibly tedious because you have to sit there for, and let the computer score on you five times and uh, once the five five times are over then, then you get to leave and move on to the next section. But uh, yeah aside from that little easter egg that is still a quite a pointless loading screen to be honest. Uh, yeah I, d I don't really understand why they needed to buffer in two loads there just to uh, just to get that little cutscene with the hot air balloon and a little hidden e Easter egg. I don't, I don't think it, it required that. It seemed incredibly pointless at the time. Anyway, welcome to the next section. Uh, we drop down from the hot air balloon, no going back from here. And uh, the way to proceed onwards is just down this way, I think. But we need to clear... Oh, it's over there. We need to clear out quite a big gap. So we can't go on to the next section just yet. We need to explore this, this massive building up ahead. And there is something... Stomping around outside, this is like a robot dinosaur. Uh, you can get it to walk into some of these uh, these these menus. Yeah, as it jumps up and down uh, and makes them rise up, you can see underneath there are yellow lumps. I think you can make them make him walk into some of them. We walked into that one and destroyed it. I don't know if I can make him walk into any of the others. Also, don't approach him because he will just stomp you into the ground. And uh, he is an invincible enemy. I don't know if he actively targets you if he sees you. Uh, at least not yet, anyway. Uh, I, I get the feeling we're meant to grab those yellow lums a bit later. He'd, okay, he's not even looking at us. Like, I guess he doesn't notice we're here. He's just uh, on patrol. And uh, we need to actually use him to enter this facility, because when he does his jump on, in the air, he creates a massive shockwave and launches this crate a few feet off the ground, and then we can get into the building through this little side passage here. And uh, yeah, ooh, it's a little slide. I was about to turn around and like have a look outside, but... Never mind. So this is the reformatory. Whoa, hello. What? Okay, give me a chance to react to that, please. This is the reformatory for disturbing children. As I like to say, bit of a strange place. Um, not entirely sure why it's here, uh, considering the only things around here are pirates. Are that, can pirates be children too? I don't, I don't know. Do these robot pirates have have ages? Are these technically young pirate robot pirates? Possibly. I don't know, but uh. At least in the PS1 version, you'd find some baby Gloxes here, so I suppose that's those are what the pirates would refer to as disturbing children. Possibly. I don't know, I'm just trying to theorise here. But uh, yeah, it's a bit of a strange name for this one little building here. So I want to get on this crate again, as it hops up in the air. Don't want to get crushed underneath it, I'm sure that's possible. Let's launch up here. I don't think I've missed any yellow lums. I'd like to look, have a look back and see. Once again, I've got my lums radar, which is pointing upwards. Is that upwards? Yeah, okay, so there's some right above us right now, but we can't grab them. And down here, I believe, is a shell, yes. I remember this section quite vividly. Uh, I do like the... I, I don't know if I'd like the shell riding sections, but they're definitely quite memorable to me. And uh, yeah, we, we're riding around this massive structure. Uh, got to, whoa, got to move out of the way of that. And you've got this uh, huge, like, whoa, what the hell was that? Oh, that's... okay, that's where we came out from. 
Okay, that, that confused me for a second. So you've got to navigate this giant th uh, three-dimensional structure, and it's uh, quite difficult to control. It's the shell, you've got to get your bearings straight. Also, that happens a lot. Uh, you leave the ground and then you just spiral, in <laughs> spiral into the void and explode. So yeah, this is a bit of a touchy section. It's quite... I'll be honest, despite the fact that it's jank as all hell, I do find this quite fun. Trying to get my bearings and ride along certain these certain walls. Oh, I need to like go across the middle here, I suppose, is the easiest way of putting this. Okay, there's yellow lumps scattered all over the place in this section, so I'm gonna have to... Oh, that one just faded into existence as I passed it. Great. Okay, uh, anything up here? I don't... Oh yeah, there's one... Uh, oh no, there's a few yellow lumps just around this little plaza. It's around this little uh, raised section. Okay, let's get back up on the wall, because I know there are still some hanging up on the ceiling. Okay, I'm a little worried that every time I like try and climb up one of these ramps and get back onto this section, it's just going to like spontaneously explode, because it tends to do that a little bit. Okay, let's... Uh, oh, there's one more! Ah, oh, of course. I was facing completely the wrong way there. And uh, yeah, it just ran me into the ground. Gravity is not a thing with the shells, it's uh, it's all over the place. Okay, I'm trying to follow the LUM, the LUM radar, but it's not proving to be very helpful because... Oh, I did miss a yellow up there. Did I? Can I, like, run up this? What is this? Whoa, 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 what's going... What the hell? I collided with the wall, but it didn't kill me. And then I tried to maneuver back on track and it killed me. <laughs> Great. No matter what you do, it's going to kill you anyway. That's, uh, it's, it's, like, it's like life. This section is like life. Okay, yeah, that's, that didn't feel right at all right there. Okay, let's, uh... uh still one up this way on this column. Let's move up here. Okay, so the LUM radar tends to focus after a little while. I'm still missing one. It looks like it's trying to direct me into the ground. I threw it on the ground. Nothing that way. Have we collected everything on the climbing frame up there? I've got to get some uh, yellow lumps over here. Sorry about that, I just noticed that my dog was like walking around on the sofa next to me and it was probably making some weird leathery noises. Uh, well, that's uh, it's a little bit strange. I might, might pick up on the microphone, I'm not sure how sensitive it is. Okay, got, got to follow this trail of lumps uh, and then go into the centre area. How do I get in there without like nose diving into the floor? There's, there's more noise. Oh, there's still some baby boxes in this section. Oh, there's a there's a ramp going down. I didn't see that on the other side. It was like it was well hidden. Let me just head over there, and then yeah, there's a ramp on this side. Okay, got you, got you. I understand. I understand the section. Yeah, that's not gonna like throw me into the ground or anything. So yeah, got to activate these two switches, and uh, yeah, there are some baby boxes in here apparently. And uh, got to free them by hitting the two switches. And then we can get out onto like the wide open plain section. Whoa, that was weird. Why am I going this way? There's nothing over there. I was just checking for yellow lumps. I'm only missing four yellow lumps. I'm hoping that they're all over here underneath the underneath the menis. So the robot dinosaur will become attracted to us now and start chasing after us. So we need to lure him through the rocks and destroy them, and then we can pick up the yellow lumps behind it. Make sure you use your rocket accelerate here. Otherwise, it's going to catch up to you. Uh, I have missed one yellow lum, and it looks like it's directing me back to the structure up in the air there. So I'm going to head back myself real quick. Luckily, it allows us to do that. So in the PS1 version, this section played out a little differently. Uh, this would be the location where we freed the baby globoxes and got the fourth mask. I don't know if I mentioned it, but um, unlike in this version of the game where we get the rain mask, uh, we get the fourth mask from the from the Globox children. Also, I died. Great. But yeah, the Pirate Mines was was originally part of the Iron Mountains itself. Like, you play it at the end of the Iron Mountains, and then you get the fourth mass then. But this version plays out a little differently in that the Pirate Mines is its own separate level, and we get the Rain Mask for c completing it, and not the, not the fourth mask as per norm. Okay, where is that yellow lump? Not there. Barrels are there. Apparently. Okay, hang on. I want to jump out. Can I, like, stop myself from sliding and jump out? I can't use my helicopter. I don't want to go... <laughs> I think I missed something of vital importance. Let me see if I can do that, like, skip. Oh, I saw it. I saw the yellow lum, I think. Whoa! I did do the skip. Huh. 
as possible to make it there. Okay, where do I see it though? It was like... I saw it from a distance, but now I don't know. Can't get my bearings. Oh, there it is. It's like blending in with the sky. That's not very helpful at all. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did a little flip in the air there. Okay, that's all the yellow lambs and all the familiar spirits to this level. Let's actually get back to that area with the robot dinosaur out front. Okay, now I'm apparently walking on this wall. How, do, how did I get here? I don't know, but I'm gonna... What? No, no, no. Okay, gravitate to the ground, please. Thank you. Hey, I can skip down there just by sort of hooking off the ledge, doing it gently. Like a gentle, gentle slope there. Okay, let's head on over here. I think the robot dinosaur will still try and attack us. Yeah, okay. Just need to head to this bridge, and we use the shell to cross the gap. Just propels Raymond away from the edge. And now we move on to the next section, which would be the pirate mines in other versions of the game. Not in the PS1 version. We get the, the fourth mask right in that section there. Uh, we didn't get to ride a warship in the PS1 version, but we'd get the cutscene, like, just on that cliff there. Anyway, let's say no, and uh, this is something weird. Hello, we are now walking on ice platforms. This might not look familiar if you haven't played any other version of the game, because this is a Rayman Revolution exclusive area. And would you look at that. There is the fourth mask, encased in crystal. Let's run on up here. Yep, here we have a Revolution exclusive boss. Here is Grolem 13. Don't ask me what happened to the other 12. I have no idea. And uh, yeah, it's uh, quite unique. We have a Guardian for the fourth mask, only in this version. Uh, however, it's uh, really not all that, like, it's not particularly good, to be honest. Like, you got this, like, shoot em up section, and we can we have free reign, unlike the, uh, unlike the uh, pirate ambush we had earlier in Glock's house area. But uh, it's a bit repetitive, because all you really need to do is keep spamming your shots, hit these clouds to start making this giant storm cloud appear over his head. Also, I apparently got electrocuted there, I don't know how. But uh, yeah, sometimes black clouds appear above you on top of the screen, you need to look up for them, move horizontally to avoid them, but just keep shooting these small clouds that approach you, start forming a giant cloud above, watch out for his little icicle attack, which is blatantly stolen from Axel. He has big tornadoes, so he's got a like a wide variety of attacks, but he's just not that threatening, and this boss fight is quite repetitive and quite needlessly long, I'd say. So, uh, yeah, we just need to keep shooting at the small clouds, and also I seem to get stuck at the top of the screen there. Yep, upon doing that, uh, it takes off like a third of his health bar, and now we need to uh, keep this up 
And uh, yeah, it's just really, really long and boring, to be honest. Not the best boss in the world. Just keep shooting, just keep avoiding. And there's not an awful lot of difficulty here at all, which is a shame for the final exclusive boss in Revolution. He's a bit derpy looking com compared to Axel and uh, Fouch, but yeah, he's just got an exclusive Guardian. Thinking about it, like if I wanted like a massively complete version of Rayman 2, like a full on HD, uh, like complete version with all the content from Revolution combined with like proper HD graphics, because this game certainly isn't HD, it's, uh, it doesn't, it's very jagged in places. But uh, yeah, if I wanted like a full on version, I'd, I'd like this boss fight to be changed, and I'd like them to have like an actual sanctuary. Uh, to house this guy in the fourth mask, rather than throw at the end of the Iron Mountains. It just comes out of nowhere. Got like a random boss out of nowhere, and the fourth mask is just floating there in the sky. And yeah, it, it seems a bit out of place, to be honest, compared to the other, the other gardens in the other sanctuaries. But, uh, am I getting close to him for some reason? It feels like those those spears he was throwing at us was coming a little bit, a little bit more close range there. Okay, I, there's, yep, okay, there's one more cloud in there, which electrocu electrocutes him. If you can't tell what's going on, neither can I, to be honest, it's very, uh, bit of a cluster at all times. Oh, he's, he's got a charge attack as well, and he threw, like, snowballs at us. So he's, he's, he's varied, but not very threatening still. It just, you know, uh, don't know if this is coming through in the recording, like how dull this boss is. I'm just flying around and he just can't hit me. Wait, he may have hit me a few times, but you know, it's just not, it's not difficult. I don't know why. It's just not that interesting, to be honest. I'm, I'm sorry to be a bit of a downer for this final boss, for this final guardian, but uh, whatever. Let's just get through this. I've only got a few more storm clouds to hit. See the cloud gathering above him. Is that it? Is that enough? One more, maybe? I can't really tell by the size. Okay, that's it, and there we go. He wasn't even he wasn't even underneath that. He was flying forward towards us, but he still got hit by that giant electric bolt. And for some reason he deflates. That's that's the thing. What? Why did that happen? Anyway, fourth mask, hooray! A little bit more climactic than just the glowbox children giving it to you. I must admit, though, that's just a bit of a throwaway thing in other versions. At last, the final match. Bravo, Rayman! You've brought me back! The pirates won't last long. I will use my powers to destroy the fort and rid the world of the robots that infest it. Alas, my powers have limits. On Earth, the lums make me invincible, but in the air, I am as vulnerable as a newborn. It's you who will have to fight on the prison ship. I'm going to give you maximum energy.
So yes, Pollocus has now rid the world of the robot pirates, apparently. Except if we revisit any of the other levels, they're still they're still there. So, good job, Pollocus. Thumbs up from me. Well done. Well done. You certainly did your job there. Uh, I'm not going to do a bonus mini game, even though maybe. No, I don't. I don't think the golden fist will come in handy too much in the next level. Anyway, let's head back to the teensy circle, and uh, we need to head to the prison ship next, because apparently Pollocus is powerful. There, because apparently Pollocus is powerless in the air. That wasn't easy. <laughs> but yes, we're going to have to get up to the prison ship somehow. And I wonder how we're going to get there. Bravo! With the energy from the mask, I can take you to the prison ship. Show no mercy and free our friends. If you want to get back to the prison ship, take the shining door. Okay, so now there is a giant spiral door that leads us to the prison ship. Uh, apparently there's no like sign above it. Uh, unless it's like blending in. Oh, it is! It's blending in with the. Oh, that's. At least give it a black outline, Jesus. I, I can't. I can't read that at all. But yeah, that is the the prison ship, and there's one familiar spirit left there, and I think that's. Is that ninety yellow lums? Hang on. Yes, it must be ninety because that's all that's left. So in the next episode, we'll head on through this spiral door, and head to the final proper level of the game, the prison ship. So I will see you next time for the final level, question mark, question mark, question mark. Then I'll see you then. Bye for now. Ah, now I can read it. Thank you, game. <laughs>